welcome back to the channel so today I am going to be doing a sewing vlog and this sewing vlog is going to be following the Butterick uh, 6768 it is an outer print pattern this is I don't know if you can call it a vintage pattern but it is from uh, the early 2000s so um, this particular pattern was printed it's copyrighted for 2000 so I'm guessing it's probably a late 1990s pattern so I guess the 90s would be vintage I don't know you let me know um, so anyway I'm going to be following this pattern here as you can see it has four different views a consisting of a wrap shirt that um, goes across the body and it has this cute little tie detail long sleeves and cuffs and a collar view B is similar to view a with this little cute tie detail in the front short sleeves and no collar view C is a completely different um, wrap shirt so instead of you using like this small little tie here you would use a wider tie to tie the ends together so you get a completely different look it also features long sleeves with cuffs and a collar view d is a variation a different variation of view c without the collar and the uh, sleeves are a little bit shorter but you still have the same tie detail. So I am going to be doing view D, but I am going to possibly, I haven't decided, I think I'm going to shorten my sleeves. For the bust, this is where it gets a little bit, um, you know, different. I might have to go down between a size 12 and a size 14. I'm going to have to grade in between these two sizes because my my bust measure at a 38 but I am going to want to have some room for ease so I'm thinking about uh, grading in between sizes here and then just give myself an inch for um, ease room maybe an inch and a half so I'm thinking about grading that so that it sits more like at 39 or 39 and a half inches I'll have to see sometimes these patterns, especially the older patterns, they have more ease in them than what is listed on the tissue paper. The patterns envelope lists this as an easy pattern. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And the, not the instructions, I'm sorry, the description of the patterns, it says that it is semi-fitted, wrap top, has collar, sleeve, length variations, tie ends, and narrow hem. A and B have tucks and slide slits. Um, version B above elbow, elbow um, the sleeves are above the elbow. Versions A and C have collar and long sleeves. Version D below elbow sleeves. And A, C, and D has button cuffs and you need to purchase um, bottom. I don't know what that means, purchase bottom. Hmm. All right, so notions for this, I am going to need two 5 8 inch buttons for A, C, and D, and A and B calls for seam binding, which is probably going to be for the, um, the sleeves. So yeah, this is supposed to be really easy. I'm hoping that I don't have to do much. For size 16 for uh, top D, I'm working with a 60 inch wide fabric. I only need one and five eighths yards of fabric. So yeah, looking forward to that. Between all of the views, there are 18 pieces. I am only going to be working with nine pieces. If I decide not to do the cuffs, then I am only going to be working with eight pieces. So I'm gonna press these pieces out and I'm going to do a mock-up and I am trying to limit myself to one mock-up for this. So hopefully I will be able to make all the adjustments based on my body type and my measurements and everything will come out just great. 
the finished measurements for a size 14 is uh, 40 inches for the bust and 33 inches for the waist. For a size 16 is 42 inches for the bust and 33.5 inches for the waist. The waist is just fine and I had no issues with that, but I found that I wanted to grade in between the 14 and the size 16 because I... I, my bust is a 38.5 ish and so I thought a size 14 between the size 14 and 16 would be great well I did those adjustments and because of my fabric selection I chose a stiff cotton it just did not work for this particular design I think next time I would choose a fabric that's more friendly for the pattern's design such as a silky rayon a satin or a crepe the pattern's instructions uh, says that uh, you can use a silky broadcloth and that would work, but I'm not 100% certain that it will work favorably. So next time, I think I would definitely choose a different uh, fabric for this particular pattern because the stiffness of the cotton, just not it just does not work for this particular design. Here's where I graded in between sizes, in between the size 14 and 16, but as I mentioned before, it didn't work out, so I'll tell you more about that later. As far as the sleeves, I added three quarters of an inch to the end of each side of the sleeve to give me more room for ease because it was just a little bit too small. I also shortened the front bodice and the back bodice piece by two and a half inches, but this adjustment didn't work out as I had planned either and so I had to go back and lengthen the pattern because the pattern was actually too short and so not only did I have to um, make the adjustment to include the two and a half inches but I also had to lengthen it about two inches so this pattern got lengthened about a total of four to five inches I just don't know which fabrics I want to use yet uh, this first piece, I, I purchased this. It's a shirting. All of these are shirtings except for this uh, gingham. It's just a 100% cotton that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. But the three shirting fabrics I purchased from Joanne Fabrics, and they are all in the uh, same collection. They all came out this uh, past year. And I just, I purchased them. I didn't purchase all of them at the same time, but I just kept going back and getting more because I am a fan of polka dot fabric. Um, but anyway, I love this white and black one and I was supposed to make a new look pattern with this. I will uh, put that picture in this video, but I was supposed to make a new look pattern with this sometime during, I think it was like no. Uh, December maybe January and I did the mock-up for that I didn't like the way that the shirt fit on me and so I decided that it wasn't worth doing this with so I saved it so I think this wrap shirt though I'm loving the way in which the wrap the um wrap shirt is coming out I love the way that the um mock-up fit on me and so I'm thinking about doing one of these using one of these fabrics for it so that is one um, here's a black shirting fabric with uh, white dots on it and here's a navy blue one with white dots on it and as I mentioned before this uh, white and navy blue gingham I purchased from Hobby Lobby I will show you the first and second mock-up. I did a lot of that work off camera. I didn't record a lot of that, but I can put the mock-ups on and give you an idea of how the first uh, mock-up is different from the second and why I chose the second mock-up to go with the second mock-up instead. All right, everyone, so it is officially the next day. Unfortunately, I could not... Um, stay within the one mock-up rule for myself. I had to make another mock-up and therefore I needed to make another pattern as well. So I had to make some more adjustments. I found that grading in between the 14 and the 16 was probably not the best choice. So I just went ahead and um, did a size 16 going all the way down um, through the bust and the waist. Uh, it just it just did not sit very well so I did a size 16 and I also 
Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, yes. So for the back piece, I made a mistake on the first attempt and I cut two pieces out and then I sewed it at five, eight, seven inch seam allowance. And so that's another reason why the first attempt didn't work very well because I didn't recognize that this was supposed to be put in the on the fold. And so, yes, yeah, so I made those calculations as well and made sure that I included that one and a half inch so that um, I don't make that mistake next time. Or was it one and a quarter inches? Something like that. All right, so um, I had to lengthen the bodice front and the bodice back on the original pattern or the first attempt, I shortened it and it was just horrible 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 it came up to basically to my waist um to my natural waistline where the most cinched in part of my waist is and it is not supposed to be like that it's supposed to be long and it's supposed to cover the tummy so instead of shortening it i lengthened it two and a half inches and that is perfect because i lengthened the front and the back bodice i also had to lengthen the um, interfacing as well by two and a half inches as well as um, oh the ties the ties I found those to be on the short end so I added two inches to each tie piece First of all but I, I started with the sleeves and I searched the ends of the sleeves so both sleeves are surged. I did the front bodice, the left and the right. So I surged the side where the side seam is going to go and also I surged the top of the shoulder. So I did that to both the left and the right. Um, I have a pattern piece here. Um, I also placed the darts inside of the garment at the back and I searched the sides where the side seams are going to go for the back as well and at the shoulders and then for the ties or the interfacing is um, the interfacing got searched as well so that way when I flip it over there's a nice clean finish there and I searched the ties as well. Now the instructions don't tell you to do any of this. I wanted to do this because this is a shirting fabric and it's cotton and it frays. So as you can see here, it frays a little bit. <clears throat> so I decided to just go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and press all these pieces. Because so I'm going to go ahead and tell you more about my experience with this pattern and some more things that I did. Um, so far up until this point, my experience with this pattern was just great. Like I said, um, because I chose a stiff cotton, uh, I think my experience would have been better if I would have chose the right type of fabric to go with this. And I do want to make this project again so that I can uh, get a better feel as to how the garment is supposed to lay with the right material. Um, the other thing that I want to mention in regards to the sleeve is that I originally wanted to do the long sleeve with the cuff, well the three-quarter sleeve with the cuff, but I started thinking about how it would be hot and it's summertime and I wouldn't get much wear in the summer with it, so I decided to go ahead and omit the cuffs and the long sleeves. Uh, but that's something else I want to try in the future. I want to see what the garment looks and feels like with the three quarter sleeve as well as with the cuff. I think that I want to try versions A and B next time as well because it has a different type of wrap around effect. And um, I might even um, do a variation with a collar as well. Um, up until this point, like I said, my experience with this pattern was just great. Um, everything else went as planned. I didn't have any issues with the interfacing, which is one of the things that I did not include into the original mock-up and I was a little bit concerned about. But the interfacing went in just perfectly 
and the ties went on perfectly after I made the necessary adjustments to the ties and I was just very pleased at this point. Overall, I do like the garment. I like the way in which um, the style is. Like I like the style and I like the garment. I like the ties. It's just because it's a stiff cotton, it's not working out. And I would definitely need to go back and try a different type of material to see what this pattern's true potential is. So right here, this is where the tie goes in between this little hole. Basically, you just uh, sew around this little opening and that's how you feed the um, tie into the side. It's on the right side of the garment. You feed it through there and then you wrap the tie around the back to the side and tie it at the side. I went ahead and I um, put the basting stitches in the sleeve head and I gathered that together and then after I did that I put the sleeve in the armhole of the garment and then I just went ahead and um, eased that in and I, I put all my pins in place and now I am going to take this to the sewing machine and sew this at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance and I'm going to, um, after I do that, I'll trim back about maybe a quarter of an inch of that. And then I will go ahead and put that in the overlocker and make sure that I have a really nice clean finish in the entire, throughout the entire garment. And then after that, I will go ahead and give the armhole a really nice press and uh, hem the bottom. As you can see, the bottom of the top has been surged. So all I have to do is flip that over. And I think I'm going to do a 5 eighths of an inch hem allowance there. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch that down and then I will be done. So yeah, that's all I have to do. And then I can press this, put it in the wash to remove all the fabric marks. And you will see the end of this project and what the garment looks like in just a moment. So stay tuned. So my final thoughts and review of this pattern is that it's a great pattern. It's just that I needed to use the right type of fabric for it I'm definitely going to make it again and try to use the right fabric I want to use a rayon fabric as is I think that I would style it in the manner that you see here because it looks more pleasing than wrapping it around my body um, but it's a great pattern it's just that I need to go back and try again all right, thank you so much everyone for tuning in and for watching the channel and I hope you had fun watching this vlog and until next time, stay creative.